Welcome back. We are back with Hollywood royalty here, two-time Academy Award winner Hilary Swank. She stars in the new film Ordinary Angels, the true story of a hairdresser from Kentucky who made it her mission to help the family of a little girl drowning in bills and in need of a liver transplant. Take a look. Virginia, what if it was your daughter? Forgive me, but I did a little homework, and I know you got a beautiful 11-year-old girl. What if it was her I was here trying to save? You'd want to find a way, right? For her to have a future? To build branches of her own? Please. There's gotta be something we can do here. Uh. Hillary. It is a great movie. I had a chance to see it, both of us did. We're so glad that you're here with us right now. This movie is moving because it's both powerful and it's uplifting. And it's sort of a larger-than-life role that you play as the character Sharon here. It's based on a true story back from 1994. What was it about this story, her story, and that little girl that really got you so engaged? Well, first of all, thank you for saying that, and thank you for watching the film. I appreciate that very much. Well... Like you said, she's larger than life. She is like a force of nature, Sharon, and she is flawed and she's imperfect, mm. like we all are. And she's yes. going through her life and um, loses her faith, and then gets an opportunity to find her truest purpose by helping this family and this young girl, um, and then gets a you know chance to regain her faith again through all of that. Um, and my father was a recipient of a lung transplant, so organ donation is a, a big, big thing to me and talking about it. And this movie came about three months after my dad passed. So I got this opportunity. I feel like it was sent from my dad yeah. um, and um, to, to, to tell a movie about a, a extraordinary human being and family. And I think it would have been my dad's favorite movie of mine. Oh, it's so special. And as Peter said, just so real and so uplifting. Talk In a to time us, we need that. Yeah. And, and talk to us about the issue of organ donation, obviously something so close to your heart. Do you think that's what really drew you to the role? Well, that was one of them. Um, obviously, the movie also deals with addiction. Um, it deals with debilitating medical debt and how people who, you know, need to save save their life and live under this debt and yeah. there's this organization called RIP where you can donate ten dollars and they'll give a thousand dollars to help a family eradicate their medical bills which is so needed um, and also just the message like you were talking about it's just a feel-good movie you laugh you cry I love this movie yeah I really love it and I'm really honored to be a part of telling it and um, it's just fun to make and I love Sharon and um, I hope that everyone will enjoy it as much as I did. She was almost engaged in old, like this modern day crowdsourcing, right? The way that she was yeah. sort of drawing You're on right. everybody. She got the media involved. Before cell her, phones. Before cell phones. It's kind of incredible. It is yeah. incredible. I'm a girl dad, so the fact that there were two little girls in this movie, it really sort of resonated with me. I want to talk to you as the daughter of a wonderful man. I know you lost your dad, but you took mm. three years off to be with him after that lung transplant. Yeah. That's time for a, a Hollywood star at the height of her career that anyone, no one could imagine someone would walk away. How valuable was that time to be with your dad in that window of time and to share it with him? It was one of the most important times in my life, I think. You know, um, getting the, ha, have being blessed enough to be able to take time off to, mm -hmm. care, to, to care for my dad, but also just how much our relationship deepened even further. And um, we had a lot of fun as well. There was a lot of trials and tribulations within there, but it was extraordinary and nothing that I would ever regret doing. Hillary, before we let you go, we know you have 10 month old twins. Yes. What surprised you the most about being a mom? Um, I think, you know, every every mom I've heard says, oh, you're get ready to experience the greatest joy of your life. And I'm like, oh, no, I know what great joy feels like. I have five dogs. Like, I get it. <laughs> and then you have babies and you're like, oh, the love is yeah. so expansive. It's so incredible. It's so joyous. And every single day you get to wake up and be with them is like like my fullest purpose. And just a couple of days ago over Valentine's Day, you finally revealed their names, Aya and Om. Talk to us about them and where those names came from. Um, Aya is, um, was, um, a Syrian refugee we met in Lebanon. Um, so she was just this courageous, brave young girl full of light going through a really difficult time. And I thought, my husband and I were like, she's what so beautiful and what a great name. And then Ohm is considered the first universal sound and mm. unites all people. And we just thought, 
oh, that sounds like very fitting. Well, congratulations. Life the movie is, is wonderful. We're so glad for you. Thank you and so glad to much. Help celebrate your father's memory too. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that thanks very for much. Being with us, Thank Marie. you for having me. The movie is great. I encourage you to see it. The movie again is called Ordinary Angels. It is in theaters nationwide this Friday. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.